when you almost die, it sort of it makes you realize kind of how precious things are and how almost, well, pretty much anything can happen in an instant. This literally was the universe's way of saying, you know, you can't, you can't mess up again, because if you do, you're not going to survive the next one. It's uh, sort of the, the light in the middle of the dark for me, and it's given me a chance to like just start over. It's sort of a clean slate, if you must. past couple of years, I had gotten into a state of sort of emotional avoidance, didn't really want to deal with my life, um, so I kind of got in with a bad crowd and, you know, with smoking weed and drinking all the time, and uh, it was really a shell of my, myself and kind of lost track of my personality. Back then, I didn't really have a willingness to do something more with my life, even though I needed to. I just, I guess it was just easy to stay numb than it was to face the harder fact and actually do something positive with my life, so. Uh, last October, I was in the city early in the morning, uh, hanging out with a, an acquaintance of mine. Uh, we're no longer speaking. So we were drinking and uh, <laughs> we were uh, driving down to like go to some party or something like that. I, I don't know. I didn't really know anybody in the city, but it was his friends. And um, he w got lost and he turned the wrong way down a one-way street. And we drove about, oh, maybe, I'd say two blocks. We came to a stop, the car passed. We didn't see any lights, so we figured it was just a stop. Um, and we slowly inched out and a car swerved to avoid us and crashed into a a light post and we didn't realize another car came up and slammed us right in the front driver's side and we spun almost 360 degrees and smashed into uh, two parked cars before we stopped. I don't really remember a lot that happened because I was in shock but the police wrote down on the report that I was the one that was driving and <laughs> well see when you get into an accident and you know somebody's injured you're not supposed to move him out of the car but my f acquaintance like grabbed my arm and pulled me out of the car and I stepped out and when I, I took my first step on my left foot and I passed out from the pain and I woke up about a minute later and I couldn't really move. Like, I could move my arms and flail my legs and stuff, but I couldn't stand up or, at all. Like, I couldn't move. And he started to drag me sort of towards the driver's seat. So I got an x-ray and they said, you have a shattered vertebrae in your back and we're going to have to do surgery because if we don't, within the next couple of hours, you may be permanently paralyzed from your waist down. And my surgeon said, kid, you, uh, you came within a half an inch of dying. And I was like, wow. And I had two rods and six screws placed in my back. And uh, I was in excruciating pain. Um, all the people I used to hang out with pretty much abandoned me. Uh, I had no friends for a long time. Almost nobody came to visit me. But, uh, you know, as my mom says, it's a, it's a silver lining. Um, you know, it's such a traumatic event.
but it was kind of a jump start to like my life because it sort of made me appreciate pretty much everything. It's given me time to, well, it's, it's given me time. I would say that's the biggest thing it's done for me. It's, 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 it's allowed me to take a step back and look at things instead of being right in the moment and actually like plan ahead, you know. I don't really have any regrets. I just wish that I had realized things sooner and, you know, made me realize that, you know, I've had support, you know, all along. I was just rejecting it. You know, like every day, it's a, it's a, new, it's a new recognition, a new realization. Um, you know, from realizing that I had my parents there who, you know, loved and cared for me. Um, seeing my dogs with new eyes, having them actually come to me just out of love, you know, being able to enjoy my brother's company without us bickering or getting into arguments all the time. Um, going back to school, enjoying photography, um, and like my mom says, you know, very, uh, she's very grateful that she has her son back um, and that, you know, I'm not constantly numb or drunk and that I'm actually doing something with my life and that she is just happy that I'm doing something that I like or that I have a passion for. I finally have some direction in my life and I realized that going to school was pretty much the only way I could like progress. I don't know, I, I love being able to take pictures of things that people may or may not see with their eyes. I'm, you know, like, I could like look at it at an object and see something completely different. I had a, you know, life-changing event, you know, it's been, uh, it's been a really good medium for me to kind of express myself and sort of delve into a creative part of me that I didn't really know existed until I started taking the class. Now that I realize that I want to move forward with my life, you know, I can actually appreciate the, uh, the extra help that I'm getting. Eventually I want to get into graphic design, maybe work for uh, maybe video games or a production company or maybe work in film. I'm looking forward to, to what I can do next, you know. I want to take it as far as I can, so. But there is, a, there is such a thing as, you know, joy, and you just have to be willing to accept it, so, you know.